why I joined the Air Force, I always wanted to fly, and not just to fly, but to, to fly fighters. So, uh, achieved my dream in 1994 when I got my wings, I got streamed to fly fighters. Uh, thereafter, I entered uh, 144 Squadron. Uh, it was really a, a little boy's dream come true from a 12 year old kid. Uh, eventually, the dream got one up. Uh, 1996 got selected to fly the F 16, so it was uh, the time of my life. I think my most enjoyable tour was uh, as flight commander in uh, PC2. Uh, it's not because it's, uh, we're overseas and we're having fun. People always say that uh, you're having a good time. Uh, actually, all of us who have been there will testify that uh, we work hard. Uh, we work really, really hard and that's why I think we can uh, play hard and enjoy at the same time. Uh, a lot of uh, sense of achievement, uh, working with people and bringing up the younger pilots. Uh, uh, it's kind of nice when uh, uh, people kind of uh, look up to you. SAF has also uh, given me uh, a very good chance to go overseas for detachment and to know how to in integrate with other you know, air forces and all that. So this has also taught me many, uh, many, many things that uh, we don't do here. But uh, we integrate with the overseas uh, air forces and we know how they work and how we work Pretty much everything that I've learned from uh, you know, discipline, core values, uh, uh, important things in life, uh, leadership, uh, not just leading men but you know, leading uh, my children and you know, leading people in the outside, uh, uh, the Air Force actually teaches uh, good stuff so you just need to learn the right things uh, and apply them accordingly. From day one when I was in the RSAF, my discipline and my <clears throat> safety was zero, but now, after serving many years, I find that the RSCF uh, has improved me tremendously. Uh, well, I, I feel that the RSCF has inculcated in me a set of values which I still live by today. Uh, I have developed as an individual in, in areas of uh, leadership. Um, I was given the opportunity to work with teams um, and I'm actually now working in the team space and I think the development, the core training courses that I've attended over the years has helped. Uh, the RSF has made me more mature and more objective in my dealing with people and uh, I will definitely bring the open reporting culture that the RSF has taught in me to my new workplace. I'm currently commanding 400 men 
in the Changi Airport Terminal 1 security unit and I would say the 16 years training and the appointments that I held over the last 16 years have enabled me to do my job well with Certi Cisco Aviation Security Private Limited. I think one of the uh, really memorable moments was uh, my Vini flight, uh, which was my last flight. Uh, I'm very thankful that uh, I, I managed to plan a last flight and I managed to fly with uh, one of my best friends in the Air Force. Uh, we were serving together as flight commander. Uh, it's really uh, something that uh, I couldn't ask for more. Uh, to end the sort of the career with uh, my best friend flying one of the most fun sorties a fighter pilot could uh, hope to fly, uh, BFM. Well, 20 years in the RSF left me with a lot of experience, memorable ones, uh, good ones, uh, fun ones. Um, but I think the, the one that really captures my heart is the last nine years that I spent in Air Force Training Command. Uh, the fact that I was able to engage uh, and teach the new generation of RSAF servicemen. Um, I think the most gratifying one is to have them come up to me nowadays, even when I'm out uh, on the streets and coming up to me you know, to say thank you uh, and to say how much I have made a difference in their life. Um, I think that's the most gratifying um, experience for me. My most memorable period um, will be the six years I spent in Tactical Air Support Command as the S1 of 12 Squadron back in uh, 1997. Um, I remember in 1998 when we split the then 128 Squadron into 119, 128 and UAV Training School. Um, being the only S1, the three squadron CEOs had to stagger their National Day Observant Parade um, into different timing because I'm the only S1 available in Murai Camp. Um, Working there was a challenge, but I was grateful that Colonel Albert Kao, Colonel Commander Tengah Air Base, uh, for rewarding me with the only Captain Merrick promotion um, slot for Tactical Air Support Command in 2003. One of my most memorable experiences in the RSF was uh, to go for the F-16 D Plus uh, Pioneer course. Uh, at uh, after which I, I came back from the course and we were stationed in Changi Air Base. The thing I miss upon leaving the RSF will be the friendship I made with the other two services when serving in the Joint Manpower Department. And I was the MC for the 25 year celebration of Joint Staff. And seeing how all the three services work and play together as one SAF, it really touched my heart. I think uh, more than just being their flight commander over the years and through the period we were there, we all became uh, really good friends and uh, even now, even uh, after leaving the service and retiring, uh, we are still good friends. So that's a wonderful thing I think about the Air Force. Uh, I think General Chicken used to say that uh, there's no point hiring to leave the Air Force because the friends you make here are uh, really friends that will last a lifetime. It's quite different from uh, uh, outside there uh, in the world. So I think that's what I appreciate uh, in the Air Force. I guess one of the things that I'll miss the most leaving the RICF it's really the friendship that I've developed over the years uh, from senior officers to uh, the other ranks, you know, friendships are forever.